Hello, happy Friday, my loves. Happy Friday. So last week we touched on self-love and caring for yourself and how important that is, right? And how we need to be more generous with ourselves, right? And then we kind of said goodbye, happy Friday, yay, happy weekend, yay. And we went our different ways. So then I went into the comments. I get about the last 10, 15 minutes of comments left over in my stream. And I was like, let me see what their comments were. Cause I knew I wasn't in the comment section as much last comments chat. I use them interchangeably last week. And when I went in there, I noticed that y'all were really vulnerable and honest and transparent with the fact that you don't think you take as good of, I want to say care, but then I don't want to say for self care. <laughs> like you don't really make it a priority, right? That you tend to kind of forget to do self caring gestures that you forget that you need to put yourself first, right? So I saw that a lot in the comments and I think y'all were kind of in there together. And so because of that, again, y'all inspired me, I wanted this week's lesson to be a pickup from that. So I have here a list. I wrote a list. I don't know if you could see. Ooh, that's a long list. So here are 10 things I came up with that I believe are self caring gestures that a we don't think of doing or give enough credit to doing so why i wanted to do this is because so often i think we do engage in self-caring and self-loving gestures but because we think they need to be so grandiose and so big and so over the top that we're like oh that wasn't self-care oh that wasn't self-love i'm not taking care of myself and i'm not loving myself i beg to differ i want to say that it can be the littlest thing that you do that can prove to be very self-caring and self-loving and why do things have to be such huge? Why do they need to be such big, huge examples for us to feel like we are self-caring and self-loving ourselves? What if we just attribute the smallest little thing to being a huge gesture of us caring and loving ourselves, right? And when we do the small things, we can do the big things. But the big things seem overwhelming and daunting and we don't do them because we think we have to do them always and consistently. So we neglect doing them because they're too overwhelming and daunting. But if we do the little things, right? then you can continue to do more of them. And that's how you get traction. And that's how you get a rhythm. And that's how you make progress. And that's how you move forward. In my humble opinion, okay? So I am going to go quickly through some of these. I don't know if I'm going to do all 10, but some are quick, some are quick. Here we go with the first one. If you happen to be struggling, admit it. That is such a huge, huge first step in self-care and self-love. Admit it. And ideally you have somebody that you love, that you trust, that you can admit it to. However, Sometimes we don't have that person outside of ourselves. Sometimes we feel alone. And you know what? That's part of life. Sometimes we feel alone, right? Um, I know I've certainly felt like that for a good chunk of my life. So if you don't have a trusted individual that you can admit that you're struggling to, how about you admit it to yourself? That is huge. That is huge. Oftentimes we think that admitting that we're struggling is a weakness when it takes such courage to have that level of honesty with yourself, right? So admit it to yourself. It's not a weakness. It is, to use this word that I love, it's a superpower to admit to yourself that you may be struggling. That's caring and loving yourself. In my opinion, you have to do that first, right? So how about we put more emphasis on that in our journey? You're struggling? Okay be honest with yourself. That's not going to set you back or derail you. On the contrary, you're going to start looking for solutions to adjust and tweak how perhaps you think you may be struggling, right? So I think that was huge. And I think that has come up for me a lot recently. So I am blessed that I have Oscar, but that's only been for the last few years of my life. I didn't have Oscar my whole entire life, right? So I can relate. If some of you may not feel like you have someone in your life that you can be that vulnerable with, be vulnerable with yourself, right? That's important. Okay, two, a huge, huge gesture of self-care and self-love is avoiding comparisons. Oh my gosh. It's a hard one. I know it's a hard one. I know. But if and when you find yourself struggling, right? Don't go on social media and look somebody up and then compare your life to them. Okay. If you can prevent yourself from going on social media when you're not feeling the greatest, then I believe that is a huge gesture of self-love and self-care because you know well and good that if you go on social media, you're going to get jealous, envious, hurt, triggered, right? That is huge. That little act, that's not so little, is huge. If you know enough 
and care about yourself and love yourself enough to not go on social media when you're not feeling good and up to seeing what other people are doing that may perhaps make you feel worse about yourself, that is huge. We do not consider that an act of self-love or self-care. And I am here to say, mm -hmm. yeah, huh? It's not just about going to get a manicure and, you know, going to get your hair blown out if you're a girl. Like, yes, those are amazing things, but those aren't the only things, right? So that one stuck with me and struck me this week. Y'all know I'm always going to say meditations and journaling, and I'm going to collapse those into one because meditation as an act of itself is huge as a self-care and a self-loving, you know, daily activity. However, I want them to go hand in hand. You know how much I love to journal. You know how much I meditate. Those two, in my opinion, when you do them complementarily, <laughs> it's huge. It propels things infinitely more. So Get yourself a journal and this is just a book that was given to me it's tiny it reminds me that i'm enough and guess what i write in it every day after my meditations after i wake up i love it and if you begin to love that simple act of writing how your day is going how you're feeling you know what you want to achieve that day what your intention is there's so many writing prompts to get you going and if you need to start out with three words like mm, i'm struggling today so be it so be it start somewhere write something right that's how you start everything with just a little bit, okay? So here it is. The fourth one, which I think is often overlooked as a self-care habit and activity and gesture that you can do so easily. That's not this huge grandiose thing, but gosh darn, it says a lot about where you are and what you want to promote in your life. And that is as simple as, okay? So why I think is so important as a self-caring, loving gesture is if you can just spend time with yourself, turning on some candles and just looking at the flame and being like, this is where I'm at and just coming into yourself, that is a huge act of self-care and self-love, self, self -love, right? Because you're just coming within. And what did we talk about last week, right? When you're getting pulled in 20 different directions, what's the one direction we must continue to always go in? And that is within. When we go within, we get the answers we need for the outside world to comply with what it is we want for ourselves and with ourselves and for you all, right? So something simple to do. So another loving gesture is call someone you love and have a phone call with somebody, a friend, a relative, a sister, right? A brother, just call them, not a text. Text is not enough anymore these days. You gotta call them and have a conversation. How many times do we feel better after we have a phone call with someone we love? right here's another one super simple but we don't think of it as being self-loving or self-caring yes it's good hygiene however when you can linger and have a long shower or a long bath right and what i love to do that i believe is very self-loving and self-caring is when the water hits my body when it hits the top of my head when it rolls down my back i picture the worries of the day rolling off with them and going down the drain. That is such a huge, little, little, but huge, both visualization that you can do right in your shower. Doesn't cost anything because you're probably not paying the water bill. <laughs> it doesn't cost anything. You're gonna take a shower anyway. But why don't you just picture all the worries just getting washed off you and coming off of you and going down the drain where it belongs. Don't let them impact you and, and impose themselves on you. Wash them away, right? Free, self-loving, self-caring app. I do that every day. <laughs> so do you see how there are so many little ways that we can show ourselves we love ourselves and care for ourselves that aren't the huge, you know, gestures we believe they need to be? So in fact, you could be caring and loving for yourself more than you think. Mm, doesn't that sound good? Doesn't that sound good? Right? Okay, a couple more that'll go quick here. Painting and drawing. If you could take the time out of a day when everyone is so busy to paint and draw, if that's your thing, or the next one, if you listen to music, hello, you are doing such important self-caring and self-loving gestures and activities because that is your right, left. Okay, that's your left, I think. I don't know. I don't know my left and right. But that's your imaginative, creative side of the brain left being exercised. And it's like, wow, that is loving and caring the other side of your brain, right? So that in and of itself is a self-loving and self-caring gesture. Now, if you put in lighting a candle, favorite beverage, drawing, painting, listening to music, there's like five things there. <laughs> that are self-caring and self-loving, my loves. Do you see how it's not just this one big thing? It's like all these little things that make you feel good. And coming up, of course, going out in nature, going for a walk, going for a hike, sitting at the beach, sitting at a bridge, sitting on a cliff. What? Be careful, please. <laughs> but it's like just looking out at the expansiveness of the world. That is a huge self-caring, self-loving activity because it reminds you that the world is so much bigger than you. And when you know and believe and see 
visually how big the world is, your perspective, but your inclination to do more, I believe is more readily available because you're like, wow, this world is so vast and it's so cool and it's so great. There's so much waiting for me. And that's when inspiration comes in, right? That's a huge act of self-love and self-care, giving you an opportunity to dream, daydream, visualize. Wow, that's huge, huge. And write it down. <laughs> so take a notebook somewhere in nature and just write stream of consciousness. And all that means is whatever the pen wants to do, you go with it and you don't stop it. You just go and you're just writing with the pen or pencil and you're just go, 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 go. Whatever's coming out of your brain, stream of consciousness, whatever happens, you don't like edit. You don't like hesitate. You don't like check yourself. You're just like that stream of consciousness. It is so exciting. And then you like have something to show for and you're like, wow, oh my gosh, that's how I felt that day. I've come so far. I love myself. I'm caring for myself in all these little ways. And last but not least, kind of goes with that one, but it's get your body moving. Oh yeah, put on some music, do some yoga, do some kickboxing, you know, throw some punches. Y'all, just move your body. That is a huge act of self-love and self-care because you're taking care of the only, only vehicle you will ever, ever, ever get to drive in this world, in this time that belongs to you. Take care of it, right? So just get out and move your body, even if it's a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. So. All right, all right, all right, all right. I feel a little Morocco moment because we need to celebrate, celebrate ourselves, us caring for ourselves, us loving ourselves, and that we do it in so many little ways that we don't even give ourselves credit for. Ah! Uh oh, what, what? Wait, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Wait a minute, if it'll do, I mean, hold on, who this, who this? Hold on. Oh wait, look at this! I can't figure out the mirror. Where are you? Come on this way. <laughs> Baby! Hi! Hi everybody! Tell everybody that it's warm in March. Uh-uh, you can't have gum in here. Uh-uh. Yeah, right. No you're gum right. on camera. <laughs> Lesson number one, acting 101. No Hello. gum on camera. Okay, now, take two. <laughs> Hello to everybody with more in March. Ah, all the March Happy babies! March. And you? Hi, yes. You're a March baby. Yes, hi. Yeah. How you doing? You guys are Pisces. You guys are so sweet. You guys are so intuitive. No you got <laughs> that, and you have such special dreamy brains. You're super intuitive, right? Right? <laughs> Thank you all for being so welcoming and receptive to his wise words. Y'all are incredible. Y'all are so cute. We're all so freaking cute. I love you all. Happy Friday. Happy weekend day. Till next time. You guys are amazing. That's and true. you guys um, should go and you know, love yourselves. Putting a bow on the live. Yes. 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 Bye, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. See, you. See you next week. Hopefully, I'll be here and sharing some of the, some of the love with you guys. All right. Ah! <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> so, if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So, keep watching.